So when you get on the school property, we go back to what I showed in that original video. If you're on school property, it's gotta be in a closed glove box, closed console, luggage compartment, and a container with a integral fastener. What that means is that fastener has to be attached to the container. What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today I wanted to update uh, as far as carrying in a vehicle with the new constitutional carry law. I know a lot of y'all have seen my previous video about carrying in a vehicle. I had released that right before they changed this law. Uh, so this is what is now currently in place with the new constitutional carry law. I'm gonna step out of the way and we're gonna get into this. All right, so as you can see here now with constitutional carry, you can put it anywhere in your vehicle and this is 18 years or older. All right, so anyone 18 years or older can now conceal a handgun, or I'm sorry, let me rephrase that, all right? Uh, they can have a concealable weapon anywhere in their vehicle. All right, so what I mean here is if you go in and look at SLED's website before all you keyboard warriors get started, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the code in here, all right, because this, the definition of concealable weapon did not change with the new constitutional carry law. The definition of concealable weapon is a firearm, that measures less than 12 inches along the greatest dimensions, okay, and concealed on your person or in a vehicle unless being used for self-defense. Now, yes, there is a lot more wording to that. Like I said, I will have the actual code and the definition down in the description for you to check out, okay? I'm just telling you what and showing you what that code says, okay? I'm, it's up to you, yeah, however you want to interpret it, you interpret it, but this is a concealable weapon, 18 years or older, anywhere in your vehicle. If you want to know about long guns and things like that, please go check out my long gun video where I discuss that stuff, all right? Now, the only difference here is when you get on to school property. So when you get on to school property, we go back to what I showed in that original video. If you're on school property, it's gotta be in a closed glove box, closed console, luggage compartment, and a container with a integral fastener. What that means is that fastener has to be attached to the container. So zippers, latches, whatever. You can't go put it in a container and then wrap a shoestring around it and tie it up or duct tape or whatever. The fastener, that means the integral fastener has to be attached to that container. Or, now I know it's saying with, without a permit, with permit, I'm sorry, I didn't update my slides. I still have to use these until SLED gets us updated information when it comes to our CWP classes and stuff. But now it's either, again, glove box, console, luggage compartment, container with the integral fastener, under the driver's seat in a container with the integral fastener, the on your person, the only way this works now is if you are passing through the school property. So where I'm at, I'm very close to Clemson University. There are major roads that people use day in and day out to get to certain destinations that travel through Clemson University property. So as long as I am passing through the property, I can actually have it on my person or we go back to the previous slide anywhere in my vehicle. But if I am stopping on school property or I'm going to school property or I'm gonna be parking on school property, glove box, console, container, luggage compartment container, integral fastener, under the driver's seat container with integral fastener. That's where it's got to be when you are on school property meaning the school's name is on that property or the district's name is on that property. All right, that means they own that property. You have to have it in one of these spots here. Anywhere else outside of school property, 18 years or older, 
anywhere in your vehicle. The school property thing, that also applies to anyone 18 years or older, as long as you have it in one of these spots right here. So please, folks, make sure you understand this stuff. I'm not trying to make things difficult. I agree with what some people say uh, with some of this stuff, but unfortunately, it is a legal system, not a justice system or a constitutional system. It is a legal system. This is what the law says. I'm just telling you what it says. Now, these laws do differ from state to state. All right, so it is your job to make sure you know and understand when you're going into a different state because they are very different from state to state. So please make sure you do your research. I would highly recommend using USCCA's website. You can use their reciprocity map and stuff whether you're a member or not. While you're there, if you're not a member, I highly suggest you go in there and give them a check. Uh, they're a great, great company. Uh, that's why I've partnered with them. I'm a certified instructor through them. They have great information. They have great customer service. All right, but you can use their website, especially the reciprocity stuff, whether you're a member or not. Now, with a motorcycle, what it says for a motorcycle, all right, it is secured in a closed saddlebag or other similar closed accessory container attached to the motorcycle. It's how you interpret it that. Is how the prosecutor for the area that you're in is going to interpret that. Because I'm be honest, me personally, this is my interpretation. All right, I'm not telling you this is what the law says, but could we say that a closed accessory container attached to the vehicle could be a double or triple retention holster? Because there is a hood that goes over it. Could we argue that that is a closed accessory container? I don't think it would be, but again, this is going to depend on the prosecutor if you were to be caught uh, with it in something like that and the law enforcement officer. Again, I'm just telling you what the law says. So secured in a closed saddlebag or other similar closed accessory container attached to the motorcycle. Now, of course, you can have it on your person, all right? But if it's not on your person, this is what it says for the motorcycle. So we're gonna step back again here. Constitutional carry now means anyone 18 years or older can have a concealable weapon anywhere in their vehicle. If you wanna find out about long guns, please again, go check out my long gun video. Again, these top spots from here up. So this one, this one, this one, and this one are where you have to have it when you are on school property. And yes, with the constitutional carry, this applies to anyone resident or non-resident that happens to be here in the state, whether you're driving through the state, traveling somewhere, or you're vacationing here, you're visiting family. If you're in the state of South Carolina, this applies whether you're a resident or non-resident. A side note to that, remember, not every state's that is constitutional carry is like that. So for example, Georgia and Tennessee, you have to be a resident of those states for constitutional carry to apply. So that's why you make sure you check where you're going to see what their laws say. But I hope this helps everybody out. I wanted to get this updated and get it out there for everyone. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I will be glad to answer any questions and help you out as much as I can. I have access to some lawyers that I know that kind of give me insight on this, but they'll kind of tell you the same thing, just like I told you, it's really gonna depend on the prosecutor's interpretation of what the law says. So that's why lawyers get paid what they get paid, because that's what they're there to argue is the inter essentially the interpretation of it. So I hope, again, this helps everybody. Please feel free to reach out. All of my contact information is on my website. I'm always available. If I'm teaching the class, just bear with me. I will get back to you, all right? And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.